Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Spirit. I'm a serious JG. All I can find from the facts is I'm supposed to be sh activating the gears on the left, so... Thought I played with them? I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm at a great risk of preventing myself from enjoying this game by worrying too much about missing stuff. I'm sitting here like reading a paragraph ahead in the fact, checking all the equipment guides, and it's like, ah, I think I just need to chillax. <laughs> or I'm really not going to have that much fun with this game. So, yeah, I thought I already did this. Activate the two gears on the left. Maybe they mean downstairs. Or maybe I missed something further down. Oh, there's another gear here that I can't do anything with, so never mind, it's purely decorative. Are there gears down here that are golden and not spinning? There are. There you are. That's what it's all about. I had to check my arts before I wreck my arts. Servering Fang. Kicking me up in the air. Crushing Eagles. Oh, it's up. That's the one I've been kind of looking for, actually. Azure Wolf Strike. You're usually supposed to do a regular one, then one of these arcane ones, and then... Yeah, let's get rid of this and get just a regular old... More of an arcane... Uh, like a regular old base art, so I can... I could go Wolf Strike, Azure Wolf Strike, and then I should get my Divine Wolf shit going. Divine Wolf shit, that's what you find out in the woods. In like the holy forest of God Wolves. Divine Wolf shit. Let's miss the stairs like 30 times. Interesting little screen. Ooh, they look scary. Someone protect me while I'm casting. Bastards, what do you think you're getting paid for? I don't think teaching her omelet rice is really helping. I'm learning combo voltage. Thank you, thank you. C -c -c combo voltage. So what the hell is combo voltage, and do I want to use it? Maybe it's a regular old strike. Maybe not. Oh no, it's a skill. So it's... Oh, I don't have enough, uh, stuff. Recover TP after two consecutive three-hit combos. Oh. That could be useful. I never use these active ones anyway, so... Oh. Already attacked to a weapon, eh? Maybe I'll get item thrower then. Screw you, game. Alright, um... That must be useful somehow, right? Well, shooting this will be. Shooting that won't be. Why would I think that would have been useful? Yeah. 
four, Blue Dragon. Now I should look for, yeah, new stuff to use. I never learned any of this crap. Gonna take my attack down, but now I'm not gonna have that combo crap anymore. Damn it, combo voltage. You taught me. Oh, I was getting, I wasn't getting it from the weapon. Never mind. I was summoned by what you did. Kind of hoping this would have changed some of this. Nope. Oh, okay. I would imagine we're supposed to be bringing them green flames up with us. A wizard horn. That's a knob on the end. Don't hurt us now. No chance of that. That didn't restore HP at all. Sorry for being so strong. Man, we're going through orange gels at a great rate now that I'm actually letting people use them. How many have we even got left? Oh, 11. Never mind. <laughs> I guess we're doing okay. Oh, I should have shot him. Oh, no at all. Coming up from... Easy on them. Coming up from behind them doesn't actually... Just getting uh, we need to get her that like crazy ass combo that makes you get TP back. Because I think in, in theory Yuri could be like generating TP. Okay, that brought that up. Oh, and it lowered that so I can play with the pinwheel now. Pinwheel, pinwheel, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, a sexy shot of the witch's boots. If you're into that kind of thing, and you should be. Hey, come on, that clearly hit that thing. Oh, good, that guy's back. That's great. Yeah, can't you be any weaker? Let's just get it over with. <laughs> It's a love shot. Man, I was just getting warmed up. I was just getting awesome with that. Really, I was. Okay, so now we're gonna keep hitting the wrong button. I wanna get the windmill. Pinwheel. 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 Pinwheel was like a show on Nickelodeon when I was a small kid. Uh, it was like kind of a poor man's Sesame Street. And, oh, it's also the Wonder Chef. I guess you found me. You're pretty good, Snake. I'll get you to cook every word. 
and he whacks you over the head. Oh, and you learn to make salad, which I remember reading. That's one of the recipes I've been waiting for because we need Raven to get really good at making salad and unlocks another recipe. Give this to you so you can practice. Get to go. Till we meet again. He alternates between being a French chef and the Swedish chef from the mouth of the sea. Alright, well, let's get to work on, um... Let's get, um... Raven making salad as a... As a thing. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, eh? Greens are good for you. Try them without dressing. Increases... I actually... When I'm in a health kick, which I recently I have not been doing the health thing, I need to get going on that again. Uh, but it's actually... Yeah, if, if you're gonna eat salad and you're doing it for health, then do it without dressing. The dressing is like the calories you're getting out of a salad, folks. It's like 80% of it is coming from your dressing. The more you know, do, 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 do. I guess it depends on what dressing you're using and what salad you're using. If you have like a, if you go to like Famous Dave's and you got like the chicken barbecue salad and it's like, hold the dressing. Yeah, you still got a bunch of grilled chicken and bacon bits and shit in there. So, you know, don't kid yourself. <laughs> Of course, salad doesn't give you back health or or TP, which is my main thing that I like to use recipes for in this game, so that sucks. It looks like the floor is set up the same way as the one below. It looks like Team Rocket's blasting up again. Blasting up? Hmm. That means we've got some gears to move. Why do you think they're protecting them with all these different layers of devices, man? Maybe it's just their pride as a guild. I don't think so. Oh, that was strange. So no, yeah. So this something will knock down this barrier, and then we got to shoot that cog. What's irritating me is that I feel like we should be able to shoot the cog from here. I feel like we can, but I also feel like at some point, probably. We're gonna go through there and then shoot directly at it from that height, but I could be wrong. Oh man. Alright, alright. Raven succeeded in cooking salad. We didn't get any TP back. Sensors. Alright, so I don't see how this helped us. Yeah, I don't see how this helped us. Okay, so it's getting trickier. Tricksy little hobbits, false. So if I can find, hey, man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. I gotta try and keep up. Sorry for the grace. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Hey, I learned something. I learned magic. Now I can finally cast spells. This whole game, I haven't been casting spells at all. Okay, we're whipping right through the orange shells. Um. So I might want to set my battle strategies to get people to be a little bit more. Um, a 
Yeah, you know what? Don't use them until we get up towards the boss. That's what we'll do. And the temptation is going to be to, um... What's... What was that? Oh, it's going. Hey, I shot at that thing before! Now it's like not moving either. I shot at that thing before and nothing happened. I can go back down. There's another gold one right next to it that also... Oh, it raised some kind of bridge over there. Ah, here we go. That'll do something up above. And that thing drops, because even though I hit the golden gear, you have to... I, I, you know, I did not see that from the fact. I just kind of figured that from the way this game works. It's like, you know what? Even if you figured out a better way to do it, they're going to make it. And this extends. Yeah, you know, why? What is the point of this? We get a save point here. I'm going to be really tempted to run to the bottom of the tower and buy uh, lots of equipment because I think we'll have a boss battle. Buy orange gels, I mean. <laughs> it just made him mad. Oh man! All right, all right. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But Raven, how could you possibly fail to make salad? <laughs> Come on. Oh, the cloak. You've been out too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Yeah, yeah. She wore a purple ribbon, folks. So, she can wear cocktail dresses and holy cloaks and stuff, but... Whatever. I keep hitting that button when I mean to shoot my little ring laser. Fully armed with ring lasers. No. Well, I'll give them this much. They have a... a different gimmick for this dungeon. And they're being consistent with the application of this gimmick. No gimmicks needed. Chris Candido. Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Yeah, whatever. They're bouncing. What are you looking at? I wish I could bounce. Ah, uh, I was waiting for the. You, one of these girls is envious of the other girl's breasts things, and there it was. Didn't take that long. What are you looking at? Oh, wait a minute, one of them has to be the first one I activate. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way up and then all the way back down. This kind of shit. This looks easy. Don't get careless. Well, you don't know what you're talking about, Estelle. That's. <laughs> You're never gonna get a fatal strike to work. We finished them off. I finished them off. Huh? Once again, or even fails to combine vegetables he already has. <laughs> Ah, 
keep doing that? And I'm here clearly hitting the gear. This looks easy. Let's just get it over with. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to use my techniques when uh Is that okay? Beautiful. Beautiful, Hooray for the old man! I'm trying to use my little techniques to get three hits in a row, because now I've got something that's supposed to give you... Spike hammer, eh? I'm supposed to give you... You know what? <sighs> Maybe the thing to do would just be to uh, swap out party members for ones that have more TP. At least for temporarily. What the hell am I supposed to be shooting at? I haven't found anything I'm allowed to activate up here. That little one counts. Oh, I just knocked it off of something. Okay. At some point, I'm gonna have to come back and hit that thing, which is ridiculous because I clearly already hit it. Piece of cake! Don't let him trip you up. <laughs> Actually, once the boss gets here, it's probably going to be a better idea to have Carol and, uh, uh, look, can't think. Probably want to have Carol and some melee people with a little bit more, I mean, he doesn't have that many more hit points than, uh, Rita does. Although he doesn't have, she has full, he doesn't, he's still got a lot more. He's more of a combat character, let's face it. Oh, and you don't have to have Raven in your party for him to fail to make salad, or at least to attempt salad. He didn't fail that time, so... Give him, give him a break. I should also take a break from hitting the menu button when I'm trying to shoot the damn energy ring. Alright, well I totally missed what changed there, so I guess... But the camera went down here, so... This is, okay, I was complimenting the concept behind this dungeon a minute ago, but now it just kind of feels like busy work. Yeah, the idea that that one extends the energy really is meaningless. You need to hit them all just to advance anyway. So, because it also had to move a little bridge, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get anywhere. How did I get surprised oh, by it? Challenge at all. Don't get careless. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I end up fighting with the party that I'd been using anyway. I learned to rise up like I do. I learned rise attack from hanging out with, uh, what's your face? Wait, did extending this ladder even, this bridge even do anything? Is there something hidden over here? Oh, what the hell? I guess I took down that fence. Boom, 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 boom. And it's gonna have to take down. The, yeah, it's gonna have to extend the ladder. The whole it raises this energy thing higher doesn't doesn't matter. It's all about extending the damn ladders. Oh man! All right, all right. Let's just 
be getting TP for hitting combos, right? Are you done already? Listen, lady. Hey, we got lemon gel. Lemon gel is good for TP, isn't it? Uh, I thought I had some kind of skill that increases your yeah combo voltage. Axes up. I'm not using an axe, am I? No, I'm not using an axe. So, I... well, should I be using the S stock? No, I learned what it teaches me. So, switch to the battle sword or blue dragon, even better. Four blue dragons. Well, either way, it's not an axe, so. Didn't really ever increase damage by consuming TP. Don't want that at the moment. Combo voltage. Skill already attached to weapon, no further effect available. I just didn't seem like it was doing anything. It recovers TP after two con oh, two consecutive three hit combos. I was probably messing that up. Don't oh, shoot. Decreased damage taken by half when staggering. Increases spell attack by 5%. He doesn't use magic, so what the hell. Oh, I didn't accidentally trigger the menu that time. I'm awesome, King. Gradually learning to play the game, and I'll forget in time for the next play session. Hey. That one up there already stopped spinning? Yeah. I guess I never hit that one. Well. Yeah, whatever, bird. I feel like an easy win. Let me at him! Oh, oh, dragon. Dragon. Full power! Onward! Relax, kid. <laughs> he learns new skills all the time. He just doesn't normally get to pose like that because he's not usually in the active part. There we go. Now it's getting real. It's just getting real, son. There better be a safe point before we fight a boss. I don't want to go through all this crap again. thing here would be for me to save and call the video. Fortunately, I believe that would probably mean it would be time for me to end the session. Um, let's see how much time I've got on this video. It is... Yeah, it's time to end the video. You know what, I'll find out. Oh, you know, we'll go just a little bit long and find out what's in those treasure chests. That's a special treat to you, my little viewers. Change styles, as Sir Fall would call it.
We got a head start. Let's take care of them quick. Let's take care of the world. Pete's just bored with this. Can you blame him? Smash bow. Lemon gel. I do not want to throw away the lemon gel. Lemon gel, I think it's a TP item. Or is it a health item? Yeah, it's a health item. Alright, well who needs health the most? Really, everybody's doing okay for health, but we'll give it to uh, Yuri Lowell, the man himself. And that probably puts us in good enough shape to do um, probably puts us in good enough shape to not be able to talk. Probably puts us in good enough shape to do the next boss battle. Uh, we're short of TP for several of these characters, but. We're not in a horrible, horrible place. And if we actually restore our TP before starting a battle, uh, we might not need to replenish quite as often. Because they keep going into battle with just a little bit of TP using it, and then they start using items in battle and waste turn. It's not a turn based game, but it sort of is. Uh, because, you know, it takes time for items to, to go, you know, to be used and stuff. Anyway, folks, yeah, but we're going to call it a video there. Um, when we come back, we're climbing the tower to try to catch the evil leader of the NWO or whatever. I mean, the, the Blood Alliance guys. In theory, when I defeat this guy, does that mean that I'm going to uh, get the uh, Blastia Core that we need to, like, rescue Yuri's town and... I mean, I don't think this is the final boss coming up, but it seems like his story is going to wrap here. They're, they're introducing these new threads like, who is the mysterious duke? What's going on with all this stuff? So I don't think the game is going to end, but I feel like we're like closing in on the end of the first major story development. You know, it's kind of like... Um, this game reminds me more than anything of Breath of Fire 3. And like you go through and you're, you're trying to find the... Oh god, what the hell were you doing in the first half of that game? You were trying to... Well, Ray and uh, Tipo were gone, and you were just trying to find the city of the dragon dudes because Gar told you to. <laughs> I don't know. But that was definitely a game where, like, the, the what was your main goal changed kind of at random. And uh, this game might go much the same way your, your short-term goals keep changing. The only person whose long-term goal isn't long since uh, met or doesn't exist. You know, nobody knows what the hell Raven wants. Nobody knows what the hell Judith wants. Um, Rita just wants to learn about Blasia, so she's going to be floating around in the background until somebody else's story goes somewhere interesting. Estelle wanted to meet Flynn. She's done it. Uh, the little kid wants to found a guild. It doesn't seem like something will be happening during the story of the game, but I could be wrong. The only one with a real goal is Yuri, and it feels like we're really close to accomplishing it. I guess we'll see, folks, in the next video. On the Mysterious GG, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.